as uh, many of us reflect on our life, there's many things that we would like to change. There's many things that we are unhappy with. And, and um, oh, come on. And even uh, some of us will read the Bible and there are things in his word that are really obvious to do that are good and that are obvious of what not to do that are bad. And we even look at our lives and, 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 and we see that we're doing those things. And we know they're bad, but how can we stop doing it? You know, and, and the Apostle Paul, um, I forget where he says it. He says, I want to say it's Romans. He says, I do, I, for I know what to do is good, but I do the things that are bad. And, and um, it says something like that. And, and why do I do things that are bad? And first and foremost, this is what needs to be done. Before anything is done, before any change happens, uh, before we apply anything of the Bible externally, we must apply it internally. What does this mean? You know, I could read the word and I could say, ah, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do this, this needs to be done. But if I don't apply it internally first, I will fail all the time. I will fail all the time. So here it is. The thing I must do first is truly fall in love with Jesus Christ. I must fall in love with Jesus Christ. Just as you love your mom, just as, as you love your dad, just li as you love your spouse, just as you love your children. You must fall in love, in a deeper love with Jesus Christ than you do with all that I mentioned. Hallelujah. And this is why. Y you know, when, when you have a plant and it is not bearing anything good, no good fruit, nothing that is good is coming from it. You just don't put on top of the soil more good soil. You don't just put on top of the dirt good soil. And, and that's what we do when we try to uh, um, act in obedience or try to do something that is good. We just try to put something good on the surface but in order to bear good fruit, we must truly go to the root and have a good root. We must have a good root system. And this root is in your heart. So we must fall deeply in love with Jesus Christ. So we could perform these things. And if there's no, if I have no root, if Jesus Christ is in my heart, my mind could tell me what I need to, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do this. But if my heart isn't telling me to do it, I don't have the power to do it. I don't have the power to conquer it. I don't have the power to overcome it. This is why falling in love with Christ, Jesus Christ is crucial. So, you know, don't let me dwell on the things that I need to do. Don't let me dwell on the things that need to be mended outside. I first, my heart must be truly submitted and falling in love with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And to fall in love with Christ, here it is. You must take time. You, you must set aside time. You must be intentional with this time. 
just as you are building a relationship, you hear this all the time, build a relationship with Christ. Just as you do here on earth, you need to set time aside in the word of God and in prayer. Not five minutes, 10 minutes. You must go to a solitude place, a silent place where you have no distractions. Because when I truly want to fall in love with somebody, when I'm interested in somebody, you truly say, let's go out on a date. I don't want no distractions from nobody. I just want to have a conversation with you of speaking and listening and knowing who you are. So we could truly build this a foundation of love. So if you're not doing this in each day, you will not get to the places where you want to go to. You will not overcome or succeed in the things that you see that are bad. You will not mend any relationship because you need to truly fall in love with Christ. Because once you fall in love with him, it is Christ in your heart who is overcoming these things and allowing you to obey these ways versus your own natural self. You see, your mind could say, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. But your heart could st still be full of that sin still. You can see the bad, but you can't overcome the bad because you don't have the power to overcome the bad. For the flesh, your own natural power cannot resist temptation, cannot flee from temptation, cannot mend any relationship. Only the power of God, only Jesus Christ can do this. So as you, as you daily, you must commit and devote time in the word, in prayer, in sitting with Jesus Christ. If you're not doing this daily, you're going to fail all the time. You need to fall in love with Christ. And here it is. You need to realize he's alive. You need to realize how real he is. That the spirit of God is on this earth. And that the spirit of God can and will live in you. You know what? Here it is. And then when you grow this love. When you love Jesus Christ. More than that cell phone. More than that TikTok. When you love Jesus Christ more than Facebook. When you love Jesus Christ more than that alcohol. When you love Jesus Christ more than that cigarette. When you love Jesus Christ more than your husband. When you love Jesus Christ more than your household. Come on. When you love Jesus Christ more than you do looking at that woman. When you love Jesus Christ more than you're looking at that man, when you love Jesus Christ more than you love to he than you love to hear that 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 cardinal music, when you love Jesus Christ, when when you more than 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 watching that cardinal TV, when you love Jesus Christ more than anything in this world, you will have the power to overcome any sin in your life, in your heart. You will have the power to run away from times of being tempted. You will have the power to conduct yourself in a manner of love, self-control, and patience to mend any relationship, relationship, to mend and build the bond and the foundation of your household. To love Jesus Christ holds a power that you are unaware of. So this is why you see these things that need to be done, but you can't overcome these things that need to be done because you don't have the love of Jesus Christ in your heart. Hallelujah. You need to fall in love with Jesus Christ. You need to spend hours in your word. You need to spend hours in your Bible. You need to spend hours of listening to God and his son and the Holy Spirit in time in a moment in your seclusion with no distractions 
And when you come to Jesus Christ and when you truly fall in love with him, you will be there on your knees with your eyes closed and your hands submitted out to him. And you can just, you will have no negative emotion with you in you. You will have no negative thought in you. You will have no negative wants or desires or you will have none. You don't have no wants, no desires and no, even no needs. For you're in a place of where you need to be. You just have the supernatural peace that he has promised you. You have the supernatural joy he has given you. You have the supernatural patience and just gentleness and love that you bask in. You are Your mind is totally off of this world. Your mind is totally off of yourself. Your mind is totally off of your troubles and your sufferings. For you are in a place of him. And then this is what you need to fall. You need to fall in love with Jesus Christ. This is what must, this is what needs to be done. To mend, to heal, to stop doing what you do, what you want to do, to be free from your chains and your bondages. You must learn and, and learn Jesus Christ. You must love Jesus Christ. You must want Jesus Christ. You must need Jesus Christ. Him. Him. The Spirit of God, and He will be in your hearts. This is what is needed. In Jesus' mighty name.